I'm Chris Twin. I'm pastor of a church on the north side of Brisbane. This is my beautiful bride, Jill, and uh, we've been married now 30 years. I don't believe there's any shortcut to really taking the Word and allowing the Word to become a part of your life and develop your faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. That's something we've heard constantly from Brother Copeland. And as much as we'd like in this microwave age to have shortcuts, mm -hmm. there really isn't one. We have to hear the Word. And faith comes by hearing and not having heard. Uh, I remember Brother Copeland saying, uh, you can't live on the memory of a potato. So we've got to eat fresh every day, that, that word. We don't live by bread alone, but by every word. You set up a little desk in the I garage. I set up a little desk in the, in the garage. Um, and just started to, I actually knew the call of God on my life and, and some of the ministry we'd done as missionaries. But in the time and season we were in at the moment, we didn't have anywhere to preach, no, no ministry to do per se. So I would I set, set up a, a, a desk, actually it was a door, <laughs> and uh, my Bibles and my, and my tapes and, and everything we could get our hands on from Kenneth Copeland Ministries and just absorbed it, just saturated ourselves in the Word. I wanted what Brother Copeland had taught. I wanted to have in my own life, in my family, what faith could do for us. And the only way I knew for that to happen was through saturating ourselves in the Word of God. And uh, so we just faithfully kept on and studied and, and um, uh, there was all sorts of uh, dynamics that took place in that time that lead us, led us on into um, a different facet of ministry where we ended up planting a church. We had been missionaries for many years, but now we were moving over into pioneering a, a local church, uh, which is now over a decade and a half ago. Um, but as we did that, we implemented and taught uh, all the things, really, that I had been uh, taught from Brother Copeland's. And I think sometimes people, even today, they want faith to be developed in their lives. They want to be successful in life or ministry successful marriage, successful family, but they want to do it their own way. But there is no shortcut. And so we, we've got to allow the Word of God to be ministered to our lives. We've got to give attention to it. And so when you come across a resource uh, and resources like we have available to us through Kenneth Copeland Ministries, through the daily devotionals, uh, through the CDs, the MP3s, the DVDs, the online resources that are available. There's such an amazing amount that is right at our fingertips. Um, really, we've got a responsibility to, to take the initiative to get those things into our ears, into our eyes, to let that develop our faith. And as a family, we have a testimony that's not just one or two of us, but as a whole family, receiving that word, receiving that ministry, uh, all, we got super kid material, so our children started to uh, hear the word, uh, hear faith, understand finances, um, understand what it meant to be givers uh, and receivers. And so it changed our entire family, it changed our outlook on ministry, how we implemented ministry. Um, our children uh, who are all now in the ministry and there is a wonderful heritage of faith that has, has happened in our family uh, in part due to the word that has been imparted to us. We believe our families are called to ministry together. The Lord gave us some strategies in terms of bringing our children up in, in that heritage of faith. Our kids have never rebelled. They've never walked away from the Lord. They have seen God provide and they've seen it for themselves in such a real way. Why would they ever turn away from that? And so now all three of them are in full-time ministry today, loving the Lord, loving Jesus and serving Him. And uh, it's, a just, it's a thrill, but we can trace it back this heritage that we have of faith in our family, having all three children in the ministry, we can trace it to the seeds and the teaching that we receive from Kenneth and Gloria Copeland. And we're so grateful for that.